Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the Ra Ra Rabbit. So I've been trying to film this video all morning and it just hasn't come out right yet so hopefully this time we've got it. So for quite a while now I've been thinking that I may have another voice um, and this time a more childlike or younger part of me and even though they haven't spoken to me I've kind of felt them um, with all the other voices or personalities you know I still don't know the right term for me personally um, with all of them before they started speaking to me I kind of felt them there was this presence in the background that sort of built up and built up until eventually they were a voice um, that's, that could speak to me so for quite a while I have suspected having like a child voice like a younger part of me um, but they've just never made themselves known and I've mentioned before in a lot of like whenever I've tried to find my child self in a lucid dream it's just never worked um, either they don't show up or they're sort of in the background and they run away you know they don't really seem to want anything to do with me um, they seem to be a bit scared of me or a bit angry towards me um, but yeah I've never really been able to find them in a lucid dream and as I was making a playlist for Darren um, I was watching one of my older videos about him and I was talking about a lucid dream in which I went searching for him and I was in this really foggy place and there were all these chain link fences and I kind of had to navigate this maze of, of fences to try and get to him in the middle and when I got to him in the middle I realized that it wasn't him it was a child it was a child that was wearing his hoodie and you know they just told me that Darren was around I just had to wait for him Anyway, I kind of didn't put a lot of thought into that dream. Um, initially, I felt uncomfortable with it because, I mean, there were, there were some other children there as well, but they were kind of in the background, but this, this one kid was very sort of there. Um, yeah, and when I'd thought about that dream before, it kind of felt odd because I didn't really understand why Darren had all these kids around um, as, a, as a voice that's very, very angry and aggressive. Um, I don't know, it just felt very weird to me. Um, but kind of thinking back on that, I, I thought maybe this kid, this kid that's wearing Darren's hoodie, might be this child part of me and Darren might be keeping him safe. Which again seems odd because of how Darren is, but despite him being quite violent and aggressive and, and generally quite paranoid and not very nice, um, he also is like a protective part, you know, for him he kind of feels that everything is dangerous and everything is a threat so he's always trying to kind of protect me in his own quite misguided way and so thinking about it you know of all the voices he would probably be the one that would be very protective of like a child like the child version of me so that was a lot to think about and that was a lot to kind of process and I tried talking to Darren about it when I was awake but his answers were always sort of very dismissive, he, he clearly didn't want to talk about it so I kind of left that alone. And then a few nights ago I was in a really really bad place, just very depressed, very anxious, um, incredibly dissociated, like it, nothing felt real at all and I had no connection to my physical body and it was sort of the middle of the night I'd woken up and I was really really alert and things were really vivid but at the same time I just had no idea of my physical body for me I just felt like I was a floating ball of consciousness just I had, had no knowledge of what my physical body was doing um, which was actually quite a nice experience in a weird way but I ended up sort of trying to go back to sleep and I, I went somewhere in my mind um, and all the voices were there and this time there was a kid there and Darren brought this kid forward and yeah this was the kid from the dream now it, another reason why I find it quite hard thinking about a child version of myself is because I don't know what gender to to view them as because once again for people who haven't watched any of my previous videos where I've spoken about this I am transgender so as a kid I was a little girl so thinking of my child self, it's hard because I don't, I don't want to envision a little girl because I never connected with being a little girl. But at the same time, I, I don't really want to visualize a little boy because I wasn't a little boy. 
you know, inside maybe I was, but I, I didn't have the experience of being socialized as a boy. So it's kind of hard because despite not feeling like a girl, I realized that, you know, I have the experience of growing up as a girl, if that makes sense. So viewing my child self has always been quite hard. And I think maybe um, trying to accept that I did have to grow up as a girl is quite difficult for me. So there was this kid and I, I, I would say that they were male, but they were quite um, androgynous, similar to how I was as a kid. So um, I suppose I would say this, it, it, this child part of myself is male, is a little boy, but I would still kind of see them as very gender neutral, maybe. Um, but anyway, they, they didn't have a name and I decided that I would call them Robin because Robin is my middle name. And it's also gender neutral, so yeah, now now I have Robin. And it was a very bizarre exchange. Um, again, they didn't speak, but I, I could see them. Just to try and um, describe what it's like. So if I'm, it, if I try and go inside my head, like it's not the same as daydreaming. It's kind of more intense than that and I can kind of see and kind of hear and kind of experience it almost almost as if it's a dream but it's not quite as vivid as a dream or quite as real as a dream really hard to explain I would just say it's like an altered state of consciousness quite similar to something that you might achieve through meditation so you know I was inside I'd gone to this place in my head and you know I was I felt very much like I was there especially because I had no like connection at all to my physical body when I was in bed I'd completely lost all um like sensation of that I was completely detached so it was bizarre and um yeah <laughs> and later that night I I ended up having a lucid dream I, actually I had about five lucid dreams throughout that night really really intense um in this time I you know I I called out for my child self I called out for Robin and I mean I was like in a building quite high up I always seem to be in buildings quite high up and I looked out the window and there and there they were and this was a massive breakthrough for me because I like I said I've never been able to find this child part of myself in a lucid dream before or or they've always run away um and and there they were so I didn't really I didn't interact with them in the dream I felt the fact that they were just there was a massive massive step forward and that was enough really because again I don't really want to push things too much and um, scare them away so right now I'm kind of focusing on building a better connection with this part and um, hope hoping that they'll be able to trust me and eventually speak to me and and yeah so um, bizarre week bizarre week for me and again, um, I apologise if people are watching this and, and don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Um, I'm just, I'm, I, I, I don't really know what I am. But yes, that, that's, uh, that's been my week. So, uh, yeah, I suppose I'd like to introduce Robin to the team. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate people sticking around for these videos. They are hard for me to make. Uh, but everyone has been really supportive so far so I would like to thank everyone who who has reached out and who watches my videos you know thank you very very much I'd also like to thank my patreon supporters who you can see here and if you would like to support me on patreon don't forget there is a link in the description and you can go and check that out if you aren't keen on patreon but you would like to support me in other ways I do have a redbubble page and that will also be down there in the description box Thank you very much for watching guys, I've been Max aka the Ra Ra Rabbit and I'll see you in the next video.